Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Provo Motorsports Park here in Utah for the 29th event of the season. Technically, this is race 30 of 34. Um, this is our last road course race before the playoffs. And after this race, there will be only four races remaining. Uh, Hunter Braxton is fresh off his second win of the season. After uh, getting the win back at Las Vegas. Uh, this is also the last standing start road course. Uh, for those that remember the standing starts we've had this season. We're at Cape Cod, Burlington, Yas Marina, and Tula. This is the fifth and final one. Um, overall on the road course win spectrum. The only driver with two wins. If there's even... If we've even had a driver with two road course wins, I don't think we have. From what I can tell, we haven't. So no one has won twice at a road course. Today might finally be the day. Let's get to your starting lineup here in Heat 1. Sekuli on the pole. Andrew Rich second. Brommer third. Commons fourth. Bright fifth. Fitzwater sixth. Jesse Turner seventh. Adam Flickinger eighth. Zorlin ninth. And Hunter Braxton, 10th. Braxton and Zorlin still tied at seven heat wins apiece. As Dale Lightning from Heat 2, I believe, is up to six now. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's only at five. Never mind. Um, but, yeah, that's what we're looking at here at Provo. And here we are, we're about to go green. Who gets the good jump? Nine lap heat race here at Provo. Green, green, green. Ooh, Brommer looks like he got a really good jump. Fitzwater, Eli Bright's gonna make a move. It's not a long distance to turn one from the start finish line and Andrew Rich takes the lead early. Eli Bright up to third. And now Bright challenging for a second as they're three wide in the back. That's Deaver, Johnson, and Zorlin. As many know, Deaver with a good finish at Vegas. Trying to get a win. He's pretty deep in the top 30. But he is in the top 30. In fact, after that race last... After that last race at Vegas, Deaver moved up to 27th in the points. He doesn't have a big gap down to 31st in points, Marty Johnson. The gap is only 20, is only 30 points to Johnson, and it's another 30 up ahead to Quinton Moore, who's 26th in points. So Deaver's got to try and find the way, get a late. Regular season charge going here so he can make the playoffs with teammate James Ellison. Meanwhile, the battle rages on at the front. Hunter Braxton has made it up to fifth place. So Braxton apparently has a really good car, at least here in Heat 1. Fitzwater fourth, Bright third. Eli Bright now the only junior motorsports driver without two or more wins on the season. Bright has one win. Braxton has two. So does Andrew Rich. And then Logan has three and Lightning has four. And that's junior motorsports on the season. And in fact, another statistical landmark coming up is 20 top 10s. And the two drivers closest to it are Junior Motorsports drivers. Dale Lightning at 18 and Matthew Logan at 19 top 10s respectfully. The next drivers highest up only have 15 top 10s. And those drivers are Skype Commons in the 19 and Audra Baranowskis in the 21.
Lightning and Logan are also tied for the most top fives at 11 apiece. Dylan Young and Hunter Braxton right behind them at 10 apiece. And Sky Commons is trying to pass Ryan Brommer for sixth place. As they continue to work their way through Provo. This track is actually a lot shorter than you would have thought. Lap times are only a minute three long. This is more of a high speed road course than anything. Andrew Rich continues to lead. Sakuli continuing to keep up. And Sakuli, the only JD Motorsports driver without a win this season. He's trying to make it in right now via points. And after a great run at Vegas, he has shoved Samet Oskin down as the last driver in on points. However, due to the poor run by Casey Nanako, Oskin has a 34 point gap over his teammate. With a repeat winner, we're down to max 20 different winners making the playoff grid. The following drivers are in on points right now. Commons, Gardner, Nareza, Sikuli, and Oskin. And then as you notice, 34 points, or you have it, you might have noticed at the end of Vegas race, if you saw the point standings. Um, but right now, outside looking in is Casey Nanako behind his teammate. Nanako's 34 points back of Oskin. Cavanero is 49 points back, as is Zachary Fitzwater Sr. And then the next man up is Adam Flickinger, but he is 82 points back of Nanako. So not a lot of drivers close on points right now. They would need Samet Austin to have a poor run. These next few races, speaking of Nanako, we know Fitzwater's in 5th. Nanako is running in 11th here in this heat race. And then Adam Flickinger is in 10th. And those are drivers outside looking in on points. Cavanero, Oskin. They're in heat 2. I don't know if anyone else that's close is in heat 2. I think it's just those drivers. So Rich continues to lead. Hunter Braxton has made it all the way up to 3rd. And he just gets faster every lap. The top two have started to slow down. Casey Nanako up to 10th. Marty Johnson down to 11th. Right now, your current drivers outside the cutoff are Donovan Cage, Brian Tremblay, Sane Beckett, and Baco Magora. As we're on lap six, and these tires are not showing signs of wear. Very similar to uh, Burlington. And perhaps the officials will have to make changes once again to the tire treads. Three laps to go in heat number one. Braxton started 10th and he's made his way up to third. And he's looking for heat win number eight. A reminder that the Salutes race is coming up. That's in a few weeks at St. Joltis. Meanwhile, on the track, Hunter Braxton will pass Sikuli for second place. Let's see if he clears him here. He will. And now only Braxton's teammate, Andrew Rich, sits before him in that eighth heat victory. Andrew Rich got his last heat win at Auto Club. Two races before that, he got a heat win at the Dodge Motodrome. I'm trying to count up Rich's total heat wins on the season. He's got four heat wins. He's looking for heat win five, and Sakuli is charging right back on Hunter Braxton here at two to go. And Braxton will fall back down to third. Meanwhile, Casey Nanako has made it up to ninth, 
and Cole Deaver has found his way into sixth. Braxton looking to charge again. It doesn't look like we'll see pit stops here in this heat, but it's definitely giving us some pretty good racing. There's Deaver making a move on Fitzwater. That's for fifth place. He doesn't get enough of a run. He's looking to cross back to the right. Does he cross to the left here? No dice, but Fitzwater's looking to make a move on Bright. As the drivers come to the white flag. Will Andrew Rich get his fifth heat win of the season? Or will Joshua Sakuli try and steal one here? Sakuli without a heat win all year. He finished second to Bobo Jones all the way back at Talladega in the first heat race of the season. And Usakuli just trying to shove it in too hard opens the door for Braxton. As they're three wide behind him for fifth. That's Fitzwater, Deaver, and Brommer. Deaver will get by for fifth place. That's Nanako under fire from Adam Flickinger, but focus is on the front through the final two corners. Does Sakuli have a chance at all here? And it looks like he won't quite get there, and Andrew Rich will get his fifth heat win of the season. So congratulations are in order to Andrew Rich. And that's his third heat win in the last five races. So Andrew Rich going on a tear lately. Missing out on Provo will be Slade Jagger, St. Beckett, Brian Tremblay, and Baco Magora. And it looks like there was a bit of a photo finish between Cage and Jagger. So Cage was able to get out of the rut of 21st place to make the race. With that said, guys, I will see you for heat race number two. Welcome back to Provo. We're getting ready for heat race number two. Let's get to your starting lineup. Audra Baranoskas on the pole. James Ellison qualifying second. Matthew Logan third. Nico Tringali fourth. I believe that's Edwin Mendez in fifth with Dylan Young in sixth. Samet Oskin seventh. Johnny Gardner eighth with Colt Hudson in ninth. And RJ Bishop in tenth. If you look to the back of the screen, or the top of the screen for that matter, you'll see Dale Lightning starting in 20 seconds. So Lightning. Going to have to make some passes here if he wants to make this race and continue to hold on to the points lead. Five races remaining, and the drivers that we're looking at here in this race are Samet Oskin and Alan Cavanero that are currently in the points battle. So we'll have to see. Hopefully nothing bad happens to them. They're going to want to make this race, especially Austin. If he misses a race, that 34-point gap to his teammate Nanako goes away. Audra baran Oscus got her last win all the way back at Watkins Glen. So we're back to another road course. Perhaps she gets another win here. Same can be said for Ellison, who got his second win of the season at Yas Marina. We'll see if a heat win translates to a race win for the 11 car. Other road course winners this season, Seth Cole, Dylan Young, Matthew Logan, all in heat number two. Here comes Stay with me. Drivers, start your and here we go, getting ready to go green in heat number two. Who gets the good jump? Green flag is out. Baran Oscars didn't look like she got a good one at all. Gardner makes it three wide. And Ellison with the superior line once again. We saw Andrew Rich do the same thing from second place in Heat 1. It looks like starting on the pole is not what you want to do. 
unless you get a good start. And Tringali might pass Baran Oscus for second. Ellison in the lead, Tringali fighting to take second place from Baran Oscus. Logan's right there waiting to hop on third. Baran Oscus holding her own against Tringali. And she will hold on to second place for now. How about a little onboard action with the five of Dale Lightning? After just one lap started, 22nd up to 17th. So you know Lightning's got a fast race car and he is making quick work at these drivers. Second fastest lap time there from the grid. Partly due to how far back he started. Cavanero with the fastest lap is up to 10th. And now Lightning under fire from someone, I believe. As you see the slower car of Catano behind him. As Lightning begins to pull away from that group. Lightning finds himself behind the 20 of Enzo Nereza. See, after two laps, Lightning will move up to 15th place. Nereza and Seth Cole side by side in front of him. Cavanero has made it up to ninth. Your current bottom four, Cole Baker, Jackson King, Alexander Rowe, and Corey Riggs. As Lightning makes the move on the 15th. Ellison continues to lead. Bishop has made it up to fifth place. So just like Heat 1, we've got our Chargers. Now, Corey Riggs is technically in the battle to make it in on points. He's 29th in the standings. Of course, he's a far ways down. He's a good 100 points behind Cavanero. But 24 starts on the season for Riggs, and it's accumulated just three top tens. Teammate Colt Hudson below him in the points has missed three more races than Riggs has. And Hudson has gotten a top five and six top tens. So just interesting there. Riggs has, I believe, nine more points on the season versus Hudson. And he's made three more races. So that shows a lot right there. I actually forgot because it's been so long. I stopped kind of keeping track of who's made every race. And I'm trying to see who those drivers are. Hunter Braxton has still made every event, as has Fitzwater. So the two from Heat 1 have still made every event. And then Seth Cole and Alan Cavanero have also made every event. Cavanero currently in 9th, Seth Cole in 15th. Those are the guys who have made every race. Three car breakaway right now. Ellison, Tringali, and Baran Oscus here on lap 5 of 9. Fastest lap goes to the 5 of Lightning, a 103.7. He's up to 11th place already. And there you see Dale Lightning in 11th making short work of this field and lightning has really come along this season took him a while to win a race but once he did he won another one shortly after and here at the end of the regular season he's really finding his stride but the question will remain is this the time to get hot, or do you want to be getting hot as soon as the playoffs start? 
Lightning has struck four times this season in main event races and five times in heat races. That's tied most with Hunter Braxton, who's got seven heat wins and two main event wins. So the five and the seven have shown the most speed overall this season. Sorlin sits right behind them with seven heats and one main event at eight. And actually, what is Matthew Logan at? Because he has won three races and one, two, three heat races. So Logan's only got three heat wins. Already up to lap six. Lightning kind of stabilizing now there in 11th as he's caught cars just as fast as him. Oskin trying to get by Gardner for 7th place. And Gardner doesn't put up much of a fight, so put the 22 to 7th. Bishop in 5th all over the bumper of Logan. As Ellison continues to lead, this would be Ellison's second heat win on the season if he gets it done. His only heat win came back at North Wilkesboro, where he also won the main event. But Tringali... On his bumper still, not making it easy for him. Tringali has gotten three heat wins on the season. And his last heat win came at Auto Club, just as Andrew Rich did. In fact, both Rich and Tringali have... Both Rich and Tringali won their heat races at the Dodge Motordrome and Auto Club. Tringali would probably like to do it again... But with two laps to go, he's got to get to the bumper of Ellison if he's going to make an attempt to pass him for the lead. Move to five of Dale Lightning up to 10th place as he passes Dylan Young for the position. Corey Riggs has made it into the top 20. That's dropped Chris Wheeler down to 24th, a full second behind Cole Baker. As Jackson King runs 21st, Wyatt Anderson, the last driver in the field right now. They'll be coming to the white flag this time by. There you see Wheeler all the way behind. And Wheeler and Beckett, they've been the two worst drivers all season with the worst cars. Hopefully they get some more upgrade points. Heading into the playoffs, it's the last upgrade stage. Beckett has gotten a lot more points than Wheeler. He's got a 64-point gap. Mostly due to that top 10 finish he got a few races ago. As, oh, Catano on the last lap has had a problem. That caused a lot of drivers to slow up. King is still 21st, but it dropped... Through Alexander Rowe into 20th and Rowe's going to take 19th from Anderson. Now King's looking for that position. Is there any way for King to get by the 55? This is 420th right here. The 55 and the 99. Baran Oscus made it by Tringali for second. But the big battle's right here. Anderson really throws it into the right-hander. And they're coming up to the last the left-hand corner. King's too busy fighting with his teammate Cole Baker. And at the start-finish line, Wyatt Anderson will edge out Jackson King. So problems for Lucas Catano after taking the white flag. But James Ellison with his second heat win of the season. 
And it just continues to show that College Racing has the cars to win races. It's just something's going on with Cole Deaver that Deaver needs to figure out. He's had his run, his good runs here and there, but Ellison has been pretty consistent. And funnily enough, this is the second time this season Ellison has won a heat race at the same track as Andrew Rich. They both won heat races at North Wilkesboro. Ellison came away with that win there at North Wilkesboro, though, so we'll have to see if Andrew Rich can beat him out this time. Jackson King, Cole Baker, Chris Wheeler, Lucas Catano will miss out on Provo, and with that, I will see you guys for the main event.